For a dozen flammable? <laughs> now, flammable, flammable, that's the one that's on the side of the truck. Flammable. As if you're going to get out of your car at 60 miles an hour and smoke on his truck, huh? <laughs> Flammable. I found out the reason it says that on the truck is so that just in case you should be spinning out of control at 70 or 80, heading for the truck, you'll know what it was that happened, you know? <laughs> Gives you a chance to make a few plans, you know? Put the cigarettes out, put the cigarettes out! <laughs> and of course, there's a moment just after beginning to blow up when you stop blowing up for just a moment and you say, fucking flammable. <laughs> then, of course, you do continue to blow up. <laughs> Nothing we can do about that. Jumbo shrimp. <laughs> Indeed. What do you expect when you order that? What will arrive? Will it be a large shrimp or a little jumbo? <laughs> jumbo shrimp. Those words don't even go together, man. That's like military intelligence. They have that, too. How did they do that? There's, a, well, there's another phrase like that. Business ethics. <laughs> <laughs> Say, uh... We're discussing business ethics. Yes, no wonder we couldn't hear anything over here. That's like a plastic glass. We have them. Mine isn't. Mine's a glass glass, goddammit. But they have the... Get me a plastic glass. Well, I'll see what I can do. Pretty soon they'll have nylon rubbers. They do. They have nylon rubbers. What the fuck? Hey, all right, then. Any of filth. <laughs> sure, man. Hey, three moans wasn't bad so far, about an hour and a half. Now, uh, hold on, I have a real great idea. As soon as I think of it, we're all going to laugh our asses off. <laughs> right? The airline has given us a lot of strange words and expressions and ways to look at language that they force us into. Do we have words like from the airline like deplane? I've never deboated, I've never debussed. <laughs> By God, I have deplaned. <laughs> we'll be deplaning through the forward door. I'm already on deplane. <laughs> That's what they tell you. Get on the plane, get on the plane. Fuck you, I'm getting in the plane. <laughs> Let evil Knievel get on the plane. <laughs> I'll be inside with you folks in uniform. You seem to know where to sit. <laughs> Airlines got a load of things. They tell you to go to your gate. Go to your gate. There's no gates. Have you ever seen a gate at the airport? There ain't no fucking gates. Where the hell are the gates? They have a lot of doorways. They have a lot of pathways. They have a lot of carpeting. They have a lot of seats. They got rostrums and podiums, they got railings, they got velvet ropes. There ain't a goddamn gate at the airport. <laughs> Shit, I've missed three planes looking for my gate. <laughs> gate 49, goddamn, there must be a bunch of them around here someplace. <laughs> Where are they? And airlines also have another thing called a non-stop flight. Not me, bullshit. <laughs> I insist that my flight stop. <laughs> Preferably right at the end. <laughs> That's when they tell you you'll be landing shortly. <laughs> Does that mean we're going to miss the runway, honey? <laughs> no, it just means we're on our final approach. <laughs> when they tell you to put your seat back forward. Wow. You mean one time or a lot of times? I mean? put, put your seat back. I don't bend like that. And then, one further example of the airline's 
perversion of language. When two airplanes almost crash right into each other, up in the sky, they call that a near miss. <laughs> It's a near hit, gang. Thank you. You're nice, guys. We're having fun, you know. I uh, had a couple more uh, word thoughts, but nice ah, room. I thought of most of them anyway. There is left that word, that group of words that we uh, pay. Hey. Hey. Well, they're your words, gang, and I praise them too because they are sort of fun, just as a hobby. If nothing else, these words are only. Uh, let's see. Let's call them this. They're uh, the words that we can't say all the time. I find that to be about the most comfortable. Um, Umbrella, you know, uh, they're just words that we can say all the time. Sometimes, yes, sometimes, but not all the time. <laughs> When you're a kid, you can't say them at all. <laughs> not one, none. That's it. No. But you do keep growing. They can't stop that. Pretty soon, the words "hell" and "damn" break through. <laughs> hey, I didn't get hit. I know. And Dad tells you a joke with shit in it. <laughs> I don't tell your mom I said that. Why not? Well, you can't use them words all the time. I, I was my trouble was I wanted a list. I didn't think it was asking much. Here are these words I'm not supposed to say. Let's have a look at them. I'll be glad to avoid them if I could just see them and know what they are. You got to say them to find out what they are, man. Shit! <laughs> oh fuck! <laughs> All right, hey, enough, man. A list, please, ma. Sure, that's all you need when you're six years old. Now, here's the list of words your dad and I don't ever want to hear you say. Oh, thanks, ma. Hey, that'll save me an ass kicking, you know. <laughs> There's no list. So enough of trial and error, goddamn. Now there are different places where you can't use words, right? I mean, sometimes the minister's wife is one. You definitely don't say them to the minister's wife. And all of those thousands of other places <laughs> that, you know, you know like, hey, come on, mixed company here. Hey, we're just ladies and kids here. Hey, six. I got a really filthy joke for you, Bill. But there's a lady here. <laughs> Oh, that's okay. She's filthy too. Go ahead, Glenn. Let's hear. <laughs> Depends on who you're with, right? They're just the words we can't say all the time. Now, I wanted my list to reflect an area I was interested in. The time that you can't say them all the time that I picked was radio and television time. That's one of the places where we can't use them, and uh, I guess that's uh, largely because uh, television is a. Uh, Paid for by private industry and uh, regulated by the government, so you know you think of what think of what those two groups are doing, <laughs> even to each other, you know. And, uh, so you can imagine what they did to radio and television, right? They turned it into a billboard and it belongs to the Brillo and Biscuit folks, and uh, that's all it'll ever be. And so as a result, they want to restrict your language some of the time. Not all of the time. Some of those words aren't always dirty. I found that out trying to make a list, trying to get a little journeyman list going here for myself. Want to know the ones I can never, never say on television? Because some of the words you can say part of the time. It's the same word, but it's only a part-time dirty word. And 50 percent, it's okay if depending on what you meant. So I figured, looking for a list, I started running into all the categories of dirty words. Started to realize there are more ways to describe filthy words than there are filthy words. Seemed curious to me. Someone was awfully interested in them. They found an awful lot of ways to refer to them, and uh, 